film called Operation Dumbo Drop. Talk about that. Snap out of it, Mike. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Mike tripped over my yam collection, fell on his head. Now the poor dope thinks he's James Lipton, host of that Inside the Actors Studio program on, uh, oh, I don't know, some channel. Hell, I don't watch cable. Uh, then, of course, you had a small but crucial role in Harold Robbins' The Lonely Lady. The star, of course, Pia Zadora. You two became soulmates. No, no, we didn't. Stop it, Mike. Mm -hmm. You see, now he this thinks Crow is Ray Liotta, and he's trying to interview him, and it's driving Crow crazy, and, well, let's watch, shall we? Unlawful entry, of course, a brilliant turn, a breakout role for you. You used to trade soup recipes with Kurt Russell on the set. Talk about that. No, Mike, you're not well. Whoopi Goldberg told me you smell like apples. True? What? That does it, Mike. I'm getting the clown hammer. Are you really a good fella? Uh-huh. Give us the inside story on Tom Hulse's dog. Uh-huh. Joe Pesci's mother made you weep how. Sorry. You <laughs> we'll be right Kevin back. Dobson your real reason for living. Can you tell me why? Sad, mm -hmm. really. Yes. Students, please join me in thanking Mr. William Catt. Truly, you are the greatest American hero. There he goes. <laughs> Boy, I sure hated to do that. <laughs> Guys, what? what are you dressing me as James Lipton for, you weirdos? We have to get going on our escape plan. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. hey. Crow, have the nanites constructed my modular descent unit yet? Uh, yeah, sure. Why uh, not? <laughs> then, since we are in high geosynchronous orbit, I will descend and jump off on some unknown location on present-day planet Earth. Uh, uh, th then, of course, you'll alert the authorities and rescue us, right? Uh, time permitting, uh, sure. Oh, that sounds yeah. reasonable. Hey! hey! Boy, it's really a long way down. Have not made contact with Earth yet. Over. Uh, keep going, you big dope. <laughs> Over. What was that? Over. Uh, nothing. Over. I thought you said something. Over. Uh, no. Over. But I said it was a long way down, and then you said Look, something. Look, would you other. just drop it? Uh, Over. Jeez, okay. All right. I'm through the atmosphere now, and I'm approaching a large structure of some sort. I am opening a hatch of some sort and am dropping the ladder in. I will enter the actual structure now, which appears to be a barn of some sort, or a... No, it's an eatery. It is an eatery. I will approach one of the patrons and attempt to gather information on my... Where... Where are we? <laughs> Brain guy? Yeah. Moving around and then... I just... Ah! Okay. Get back up and watch my movie. Uh... Which is, uh, what again? Werewolf. Werewolf. Uh, Brandon, you wouldn't want to see me back up there, No. Didn't think so. I just got, you know, get back up and watch my... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna scrub this one, guys. It's over. Uh, yep. Get pasty butt up here now. Over. Uh, what's that? Over. Uh, never mind. Movie sign! Uh, over and out. No, I, I swear. I said something about what... Hey, get back here. Jeez, poor guy. I don't know, you had him last. <laughs> you can't say that. You're gonna get in trouble. That's a really stupid joke, and I'm gonna tell Mike. I don't care. What's Mike gonna do anyway? There you go. Ah! Mike, the title came up and it said werewolf, and then Servo said, I don't know, you had him last. And I, I think that was a really stupid joke. Oh, that's pretty funny. I like that. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I, I liked it. <laughs> See? Oh, Good one, Servo. Thank you. Be a song about how loose their slots are, huh? <laughs> ah, one of the lesser Estevezes. And now the ladies. Well, so far, the star power consists of Charlie Sheen's uncle. The jumping rope. Not last night, but the night before. 24 robbers coming knocking at my door. <laughs> jumping rope. Ah, the poor thing is TMJ. Look at him. He filled her back. Building a better back for you. Nelson! Good one there. <laughs> now, I knew it had Tony Zarendaz stink all over it. Brought to you by the ape in the moon. <laughs> Featuring the Bulgarian Woman's Choir rendition of Jingle Bell. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's just too much Zarin Dast in this movie already. I man. Mm -hmm. mm, the sugar mines. They're excavating a tiramisu. We found another stratum of lady fingers. We got the worst tree farm ever. Hey, Geronimo! Get back to work! Yeah, okay, Leaf Erickson. <laughs> yeah, man. Didn't you hear me? I said get back to work. Hey, man. Thought her to hell out here. Tommy, come on, man. What? Jerk. He needs to get his head straightened out or something. The hoser. Tommy, come on, man. You piss him off more, he's gonna fire us off. Come on, come on. Hey, what is this? Got some. Hey, be careful, man. We don't want to damage this. You're in thick. Get in here. Hey, get away. You're gonna get us behind. Yeah, I can't see home plate. Hey, I got something here. It's Ron. Hey, hey man. Hey, you see, I'm hurt. This is where Billy Jack should come, come riding on, up. Man. Damn it. <laughs> you know, never put Marshall Tucker in charge of your dig. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's punching a side of beef off screen. Ooh. Yuri, stop it! Stop it! Rock'em, sock'em, archaeologist. Brooks and Dunn finally have it out. Yeah, Filipino crotch fighting. This is a production of Roadhouse in the Park. <laughs> No, uh, Rap Patrol should have hung it up after the war. Hey, just stand there while I punch it there. Hey, how are the waves today, you guys? The man with the yellow hat arrives to calm things down. Oh, good. Come on. And during the course of the fight, they stomped all over the Ark of the Covenant. Lewis Leakey in every which way but loose. <laughs> what? Um, are we done fighting? Somebody got an uh, emergency kit around here? Vanessa Redgrave for Banana Republic. What's going on? What happened? Full almost damage to find. Stay calm, Yuri. This is the mirror of archaeological digs. There's quite a bit of blood. You will need stitches. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, quite a bit of red tempera paint, anyway. <laughs> There's just so much litter on the highway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to cover this up. Fines are too hard, too much paperwork and stuff. I'm Martin Sheen's brother. Does that help? Professor Noll, you got to take a look at this. Not now, Yuri. I got a man hurt over here. Me too. <laughs> Look, Billy, take Tommy into town, get a doctor, get that arm stitched up. We'll pay the bill. Sure. More during prototype. Professor Noll, come and take a look at this. The hell is it, Yuri? They can't wait. For come on. Oh, Cedar makes your life easier. No shoes. He was killed for his Nikes. Call an ambulance and make sure you don't move his neck. Cruise ship taken off. There's another one. It's Steven Tyler's skull. Yanaglachi. Yeah, boy, Yanaglachi for me too. Yeah. Look, uh, Joe, why don't you catch up with the other guys and uh, help them out with Tommy, all right? In fact, by the time you're done, most of this day will be shot, so why don't you just take the rest of the afternoon off? In fact, why don't you just sit out the rest of the movie? Well, go on. You better hurry up if you're going to catch up with him. <laughs> yeah. Go home, Joe. All the way. Good boy. I have it. My dog needs a new head. No, what was that all about? I'll explain later. Joe sure seemed bothered by this thing. What did you call it? You recognize the term he used. I could tell. I'll explain it later. Natalie, get some of the students over here to take these bones out of here. Don't put it in the lab tent. Bring it up to the blockhouse. And Natalie. I'm glad you, baby. 
You make sure none of the Indian workers see this. Like uh, Rajipur or Amir, okay? Goodbye, Joe! Oh, could you at least put gym shorts on him? We've come to the conclusion, dem bones, dem dry bones, sir. Skinwalker? Skinwalker. Texas Skin Ranger. <laughs> it's also known as a shapeshifter. It's a Pot sticker, clam dicker, that sort of thing. It's the Navajo equivalent of a uh, poodle. <laughs> Lancathrope. <laughs> a damn werewolf. A, a, a what werewolf? Here's the wind up. And the pitch. Werewolf? No, werewolf. Where? Say it. You mean Joe thinks this thing is a werewolf? Well, not exactly. Not, not, not in our traditional white man's movie monster sense. You see, Yanaglanchi translated. Means he who trots here and there on all fours. So, any animal, pretty much. <laughs> well, let me explain. Yanaglanchi is a human witch who wears the skins of fierce animals. Such as a coyote, or a wolf, or bear. Rabbit, caterpillar. He yeah. assumes the quality of those animals. Gains power from them. He's been known to roam about at night, creating all sorts of malevolent deeds. The Navajo claim that they can tell when the Yanaglanchi is close by the sudden sound of all kinds of peculiar noises, and particularly the loud barking of dogs. It might just be the bumpus of dogs. We're not sure. They also can tell when a man is Yanaglanchi. He takes on a series of strange Body habits. Wears toast in his pants. Like sleeping like a coyote, nose to anus. What? It's fun! House begins to smell of coyote yarn. This is absolutely fascinating. But, right? So, how do they stop them? I can't. Did you hear that? Well, if I remember correctly, they call him a hatati. He's a medicine man protecting him. The Hatate comes in to try to, to try to get the Yanaglanchi. Using hoochie coochie hiki baki. But he's too late. They arm themselves and they hunt the bastard down. Okay, is that a cut? You get everything? Listen. That's absolutely fascinating. What was that? Oh, I have small dogs in my hair, sorry. <laughs> Probably a car on the road. Yeah, so uh, one of those cars that sound like a wolf, okay. Anyway, that's what I know about the legend of the Yanaglanchi. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Can I be in the movie again? Now they just heard that Sawyer Brown broke up. Oh, honey. Look, he's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I broke your hands and tape. Do you have any spare rolls that I could do? Well, what took you so long? They had to stitch him up. Well, I made supper. How is he? It's bad. How bad? Bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad? Or just bad, bad, bad? <laughs> I heard it in a love song. Gotta go. I'm still in this movie, you know. You might not think I am, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard Goodbye, England's Rose. <laughs> Tim broke up with me. We were supposed to go to that wedding together. He leave right in the middle of his perm? <laughs> Call an ambulance. Can't be wrong. What? I said, Call an ambulance! Well, I'm not supposed to listen to people who aren't in the movie, but. Chia Estevez. <laughs> what are you still doing in this movie? It looks like a puffed up rough grouse. And the litter on the highway, it's just everything. Look, Noel, I'm not superstitious. I'm stupid. This really isn't any kind of conventional animal I'm familiar with. It's not a bunny. What do you think it is? Natalie, I really couldn't tell you what this thing is, but look, look at the bone structure of the legs. Look at the teeth closely. This thing ran off like a dog. The teeth. Arcanine in structure, yet it has human qualities. 
We're going to have to take it back to the lab and study it. But at the risk of sounding nuts. I've replaced my toes with grapes. I think we just stumbled on the remains of a lycanthrop. Come on, Noel. You're a rational man. That's impossible, werewolves. A skinwalker isn't. Don't be so quick to dismiss legends. Legends have to begin somewhere. Like the Keebler elves. Perhaps this is a creature of legend. Do you realize if this was a lycanthrope? I'd have to look the word up. It could be the discovery of the sanctuary. <laughs> and not to mention the person responsible for its discovery would be famous. They so hire the Frito Bandito. Hey, <laughs> look, it's Crow T. Werewolf. <laughs> Ah, yes, the concerto in A minor for cello and werewolf. Okay. And they're establishing the hell out of this building here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The sheet has no pulse. This condition has gone to bad, 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 bad. I'm afraid he's opened too many casinos. Did he seem, you know, uh, dead to you? Doctor, what do you think? Well, I can't make it out. I've never seen a case like this before. I mean, you saw his face. Yes, I did. There is constant transformation. What should we do? Should we call Dr. Brown? No, that's not necessary. Just get a blood test, send it to the lab, and keep him under intense observation. Yes, Doctor. Now, you should get some rest. You look exhausted. Oh, yeah, well, what about your roots? Yeah, thank you for the advice. I question gluing crepe hair to his face, nurse, but you seem to know what you're doing. He's gonna have to wear one of those cones around his neck now. <laughs> I admire your hair helmet, sir. Eh, I'm gonna pull the plug just for the hell of it. Time to do a Jenny guard. Oh, yeah. Um, I have bad news. We have to remove your continent. So you want to fight, or...? The Ford Ranger, the official truck of the English patient. <laughs> Man, I was lucky to find this parking space. His hair is completely different. Yeah. Where in the hell have you been? Do you know what time it is? Where in the hell is Tommy? Here we go again. Eh, nothing like a warm V8. Hey, I'm talking to you! Look, <laughs> man. Tommy's at City Emergency Hospital. He's sick! The guy's turning it's in... Honey, shh. He's real sick. What's wrong with him? He got an infection from that thing he cut himself on yesterday. That's all I know. Fountain O'Hare. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go back to work. Go ahead. This is going to be a fun dig. <laughs> hey, look, an ancient beer can. Oh. Is he draining his ears into his pocket? I've gone back to my darker, shorter hair now. <laughs> so they put suspected werewolves in the neonatal unit, huh? Man, infants are such babies. Yeah. Man, he makes Ted Danson look like Gavin McCloud. Yes, I am a doctor. I'll just be being a doctor in here then. Doctor, it's me. Alrighty then, a complete desanguination for you then? Okay, we'll be transferring you to the Ho Chunk Hospital for Yamaglaches. <laughs> Excuse me, where's your headphone jack? <laughs> Audience, what's your diagnosis? Yeah, some litter I picked up off the freeway. Does that make you feel better? No, 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 I don't think this case calls for minoxidil. Oh, sorry, I thought you were Robert Downey Jr. What am I 
doing? I'm not a doctor. I must have panicked and thought I was a doctor. Well, I better get back to my Bruce Jenner shift. Well, smell citrus. Smell, smell citrus. As a recuperating werewolf, I'm very pleased with my Craftmatic adjustable bed. Oh, I ate too much. I am a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna hit you so hard. Uh, someone's trying to start their Plymouth Duster. Well, it's either Ashford or Simpson. Quick, apply intravenous nair. Uh, let me just chill my hands and I'll be right there. <laughs> Where can kind of slip on his jeans? <laughs> Not Bob Vila, no! Now what we're doing here, Bob, is getting killed by a werewolf. Later, in the dead of blue filter night. <laughs> Maybe the ice cream truck just isn't coming today. <sighs> what do you got there? Silver bullet. Is Coors light in your gun? <laughs> Me too. This will take care of him. What makes you think he's going to come back here? Everybody's out looking for him, right? Yeah. Where do you think he's going to come back to? Well, the couch on the porch is basically his. Back to his lair. We'll be ready for him. <laughs> he became a bat? A bug? What is that? Look, I see something over there. It's a guy with a wolf hand puppet. <laughs> the bathroom before we leave. Ah, the natives are closing in. Um, if it's Martin, shoot to kill, then I can be in spawn. <laughs> Wait, it's a gorilla with a dog mask on. Somehow Janet Reno's behind this. <laughs> The least successful werewolf of all time. <laughs> Lame werewolf. Boy, that Joe Estevez is one compelling performer. He's <laughs> really lighting up the screen, I tell you. He could really show his brother, Martin Sheen, a thing or two about acting. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad he's in this werewolf movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, which reminds me, uh, did you guys have any time to think about what I asked? You know, who would you want in your werewolf movie? Uh -huh. uh, sure, Mike, but uh, why don't you go first? Oh, sure. Okay, well, uh, first off, I think I would have Burt Reynolds' brother, Tim Reynolds. Uh -huh. and, you know, if that didn't work out, I would... I would go for Emilio Klugman. Sure. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, maybe as a role as a biker or something like that, I, I would go for Don Knotts' tougher brother, Spike Knotts. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Servo? Oh, thanks, Mike. Well, I played by a slightly more freestyle set of rules than you, Mike. To wit, my first choice in my werewolf movie would be one Mr. Sammy Hatch, brother of Senator Oren. Yeah. Then I'd certainly go for Michael DeBakey's brother, Jake DeBakey, mm -hmm. or Louis Pasteur's brother, Greg. Alas, no longer in this mortal coil, but a great choice for my werewolf movie. Or, um, Chip Hitler. Yeah, Chip sure. Hitler. Uh, you know, I admire your freewheeling style. It, it really opened up the possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Crow, who would you want in your werewolf movie? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know, you guys. I, I tried, but for some reason, all I could think of was Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta? Huh. Well, that's weird. I mean... Wouldn't rather have, like, Ray Liotta's brother? Or yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm just not brother. as good at this as you guys. I, I'm really sorry. That's Ray Liotta. Damn. Huh. damn. Well, damn. despite that last awkward moment, I, <laughs> I think we all really enjoyed playing Who Would You Want in Your Werewolf Movie. <laughs> yes, try it at home. <laughs> it's fun. You'll yeah. see. Goodbye. Huh. I don't know, you guys. I think Ray Liotta would make an okay werewolf. Oh, he smells like apples. Oh, right, right, right. Crying out loud. Hey.
<laughs> that was good fun. Oh, Travis Bickle moved out to the suburbs, huh? Hey. Aloha and welcome to Hawaii. This, of course, is the Pearl Harbor Memorial. You're going to be moving into this house, sir? Yeah, why? I'm going in. I'm just curious, that's all. How much do you owe you? 15. Ooh, that's just... Good luck. Turns out there are small parts and small actors. Man, how does the director even conceive of the framing of this shot? It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the piano tuner put his speakers out the window. Dictator for life, Santa. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was just taking a lavender bath. Really warrant the tender music? Come on in, we're expecting you. Why don't you head down to the crawl space? I'll be right there to kill you. <laughs> Glad to see you can make it. Did you bring your anti government propaganda? Miss Carrie's upstairs waiting for you. Huh. Well, I've got a squirrel in the oven if you're hungry. Fidel Castro, house mother. I'm Sam. I've been issued as your best friend. In the keep. Well, nice to meet you. The average white man. Do you always greet people with a gun in your hand? What, this? This is just to keep the flies down. There's some weird things happening around here. This is a strange remake of Jane Eyre. <laughs> Mr. Knight! So we're sharing a bed. <laughs> I just found out Count Dracula was a f Oh, is that so? You don't have to believe me, but that's the facts. Yeah. Well, suddenly I miss my dad. Oh. <laughs> Weird things are going. Weird things are coming. Weird okay. things are doing around here. <laughs> okay. Hey, yet the grizzled militia man has a charming B and B. Well, okay, come on, the sheltering sky moved quicker than this movie. God. I didn't hear you come in. Hi, I'm Paul Niles. Uh, Circus kid. Huh? Of course. Well, I was just finishing typing this note for you. Well, uh, read it. You mean this? Dear sir, send pants at once. <laughs> Dear Mr. Niles, I waited for you all day, but you didn't show up. Therefore, I had to go to the office. Please call me when you get in. Cordially, Carrie. We're going to pass on your letter. Good luck, though. Yeah, my flight was delayed from New York, but uh, thanks anyway. Well, Ooh. what do you think? Pants or no pants? Mm. Before your mother passed away, we tried to sell the house. But with the restorations and the poor economy, we didn't have many offers. When I heard you were coming back, I thought I'd use the little budget I had to fix up the attic. Until you decided what to do with the house. Well, thanks, sir. It's really nice. It's the perfect place what? for a young writer. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to come over there. I can't hear you at all. I can't wait to find out what your book is about. Just another Windows guide. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, Carrie. Well, I guess I better go so you can unpack. Um, did you know your grandpa smells like beefaroni? <laughs> By the way, uh, who is that guy upstairs? Oh, you mean Sam? I wouldn't worry about him. He's just the groundskeeper. And murderer. By the way, what are your big plans for tonight? Plans? I haven't got any. Why? Because I was invited to a birthday party, and I thought you might like to come. Are you sure it wouldn't be an inconvenience? I mean, I don't know anybody there. Well, you'll get to know them all. It's a small town. Yes. I'll pick you up at 8. Wear pants. It's incredible. He's a rent -a center Andy Garcia. I see some really stupid children being born as a result of these two meeting. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad we had that moment. <laughs> Hi, Minnie Pearl. 
Hey everyone, free samples of me. <laughs> I couldn't help noticing you weren't having sex with me. Excuse me, please. Yeah. You look so beautiful. Thank you, Yuri. That's very nice of you to say. Now, you know, um, you're a knockout. Will you excuse me for a minute? I see somebody. Who's not a serial killer? Come here. Don't mm -hmm. How about a little kiss? Come no, on. no, Yuri. This is a party, please. Oh, baby, you're so good. Yeah, and this is my real good friend, Elgin. Elgin, good to meet you. Good meeting you. Elgin's my black friend. <laughs> Why? What? Oh, Isn't that music hey, beautiful? I think the latest in huh? Hey, take your hands off. And loud mumbling breaks out. <laughs> uh, Muzi, is there something you'd like to share with the rest of us? Come on. I'll let a real man look down your blouse. <laughs> look, Yuri, what the hell is wrong with you? You are married to me. I suggest you stay out here and get sober before you rejoin the party. And when you do, you can apologize to Natalie. Now go take a walk. Over there in the walking area. I'll take a walk <laughs> over to Kirk Douglas's house. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. He's a colleague of mine, you know. I guess tonight he just had too much to drink. Don't apologize for it. I mean, the man's got no class. Hey, hey, hey don't blow on me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. He's got no class. The cheese ball's got no freaking class. I'm, uh, Paul Niles. Natalie Burke, nice meeting you. Nice to still be sleeping with you. And this dinosaur was found with a head sticking out of its butt. It's the actual skeleton of a push me pull you. Hmm. You know, he was right. The walk is making me rethink my life. I'm going to set up a charitable fund to help people who paw women. Yes, yes. So they make tires and feet in this movie, but not people. Good evening, gentlemen. Don't let me interrupt your porn. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Yuri. What can I do for you? I forgot my keys. Do you mind opening the lab for me? Man, don't open your pants. What are you sure. doing? Sure. Two nights, the nights. Gonna be all right. Isn't that Douglas Wilder there? Yeah. Man, I'm really falling behind on my penthouses here. Ooh, people really love the whole roasted werewolf buffet. Come on in, No, it won't be as much fun, but he knows he can paw this guy. <laughs> so, you couldn't be a real cop, huh? You know what that is? That's the last security guard who didn't wash my car every day. No. Skeleton of Carly Simon, maybe. Those are the remains of a werewolf. Jeez, when they wrap these in titanium? Come on. Did <laughs> <laughs> you just honk? A werewolf. I think so. <laughs> well, this may cause underwear staining. So. Good werewolf. That's right. And I'm about to create a modern man-made werewolf. He needs corrective shoes. Huh? <laughs> I might have a drink. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm on duty. Come on. Tonight's a special night. Come on. Have a drink. Here. Well, since it's the end of my shift, I'll make an exception. That's my man. I think this guy makes a lot of exceptions. Yeah. So... Cheers, and let's drink to our new friendship and our friend, the werewolf. I'll drink to that. But I'll drink to lint, though, so it's nothing special. Ooh, it tickles my nose. <laughs> I'm going to get all sexy now. Yeah, champagne. Stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. My mother 
Miss Tammy Faye tells about this. She was a great security guard. Never believe it. I'm from Van D.C., Italy. Oh. So you're connected. My mother's passed away. God bless her. So. You know, I've never really talked to anyone but my bus driver. People generally don't like me. Help, I've got lockjaw. Well. I admit, my mom's not dead. I was just flirting. Wait. There. Make it go. Thanks for everything. Come on, sweep that skeleton off the table and give in to the passion. See you. I left some Arthur creatures back at the desk. Gee, a pig drunk passed out security guard. Who's surprised? Ah, room temperature tots. Well, this guy's had his fourth hairdo since the movie started. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my last security guard, I swear. Rejected for the Supreme Court, Robert Bork struggles to make ends meet. PB Army ASA die. From the land of sky blue murder. <laughs> well, I hated to knock him out, but he was due for his tetanus booster. So we're gonna get a werewolf who sits at a desk and asks people to sign in. Yes. I wish my face could be tighter. So you're an oncologist. That's incredible. Well, I graduated this year sometimes. Hey, could we turn down the Percy Faith? Well, this school's not the same. You know? Your ones are great. I don't admire you. You do? Yeah, sure, whatever. Can we sleep together? So tell me, have you made any uh, <laughs> history-shattering discoveries lately? I barely know what a hat is. Enough about me. What about you? What do you do? I look down your dress for a living. I'm a writer. Of the Purple Sage. I'm actually working on something now. Really? What's the subject matter? You're right. Subject doesn't matter at all. That's a good one. I love this music. This stuff's... Yeah, Richard Claterman. I love him. My modern man-made werewolf. The very model of a modern man-made werewolf. Honey. Wake up. Uh, best up. I opened up my gym bag and down you went. Sorry. I don't know. You okay? Yeah, well, well, my underpants are on backwards. What's yeah. That? Yes. Take care. Send in the next security guard. Well, he's no Richard Jewell. <laughs> hey, it's Neil Young. I've been a oh, minor for a oh, heart of... Oh, God, God. Oh. Gold. Oh, man, four runs to the border in one night. Oh. Hey, Merle Haggard's looking pretty good these days. <laughs> the full moon doggedly refuses to wave. Hey, zippity dee da, zippity dee. Man, it's been a hard day. Time for a Frisco burger in front of the X-Files. Man, I've got so many threatening letters to write tonight. Oh. Did he sit on a table saw? What is that? Well, now this clown's got Brian Ferry hair. What's going on? <laughs> Hello, darling. This is Louis. Darling. <laughs> The most stubborn full moon in the history of the world. The great King Timaho here is going to drive himself home. <laughs> well, I hope he remembers to crack a window for himself.
banging his own head out of the window, running all over his own car. I'm colorblind now. What do I do? Now look at those high gas prices. What are they, Hot Out Prince? Yeah, good dog. I was going to go home and watch TV, but I feel like sniffing butts all night. Man, this traffic. What is he stalking it because it's the weakest of all gas stations? <laughs> hey, mighty Brontosaurus, don't you have a message for us? <laughs> Where you live is incredible. <laughs> So here we are. Mr. Smooth. Yeah. Would you like to come up with a drink? Oh yeah, the one-two punch. I guess I'd better go. I have a lot to do tomorrow. Yeah, in other words, you hate me. Fine. <laughs> Paul? I enjoyed your letter to the Philippians. I like saying no to you. Could you ask me again? You're welcome to flex that. Well, thanks. Well, welcome to my flag staff, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whoa, no. Sorry. Hmm. What do you got there, Paul? He's trapped between first and second, caught in a rundown. Sam. Sam, this is Natalie. Natalie, this is Sam the Keeper. <laughs> nice meeting you, Sam. <laughs> How do you do? We can always use another pretty face around here. Another? Yeah. Any friend of Paul's is a friend of mine. He's wonderful. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bring the old guy, will you? <laughs> oh, I feel like getting out and chasing my own tire. An American werewolf in traffic. Wait, what are the ramp lights still doing on? Same gas station. I'm gonna follow the hell out of him. <laughs> now that I'm driving, those caribou don't stand a chance. <laughs> mm. Oh! <laughs> those oil <laughs> barrels just leap out in front of him? So his plan is to rid the world of security guards by changing them into werewolves one by one and then having them crash their cars. Well, uh, yeah, it seems to be working so far. <laughs> Can't fault him on that. Huh? Huh. Oh. Hey, Susie, what's the matter? Yes, yeah, Susie, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I guess. Come on, Susie, you can tell us. Yeah. Gee, I don't know, girls. Well, okay, it's like this. Uh-huh. You know Steve? Uh-huh. Steve's a werewolf, but he's my guy. He's different from the rest, I don't know why. But my mother and pop, they disapprove. But no one can stop us, for it's true, Lou. Huh? Well, I had to rhyme the two words. Okay, sure. Come on, I got it, got it. Go ahead. Where, oh, werewolf. I've lived every werewolf. Where, oh, where, where is my werewolf? Listen up, girls. Okay. Late one night, we drove in his car. To make our point, it wasn't that far. Take the Hiawatha exit, left at the first stop sign. Well, whose story is this, Carol? Sorry. <laughs> the moon was full, he pulled me close. I held his paw and I touched his cold nose. That means he's healthy. <laughs> But just then, his hairy paws caused the wheel to slide. Oh. I screamed, too late, we hit a tree. He died. Gee, that's, that's too, too bad, bad, Susie. Where, oh, werewolf, I've looked every werewolf. Where, oh, where, where, oh, where, oh, where is my werewolf? <laughs> Well, fun. Uh, it's fun to play a girl group, even uh, if it's just for a while. Yeah, just huh? a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was know. fun. <sighs> well, hey, say, Mike, you didn't really go out with a guy named Steve who died, did you? Or... Huh? Well, you know, there is a story. Oh, movie oh, later. We got yeah, movie later. time. Save it for later.
Oh, that was fun. Yeah. So, Paul, what do you think? Could the Colossians stand another ladder? Well, uh, I'm impressed. I've never seen anything like this. A girl who responds to me. But just out of curiosity, what makes you so certain that this thing is a werewolf? I mean, I don't want to sound skeptical, but... But this is such crap. Couldn't it be some kind of a deformed animal, like a bear or a coyote or something? Chicken, capybara? Why a werewolf? I don't understand that. Well, look, when Noel gets here, he can explain it in detail. But let me show you something. When you look at the structure of the leg, you can see... That I am stalling. Oh, that must be Noel now. Oh, Yuri. Boom, another hairstyle. <laughs> What's he doing? Don't you know this is restricted area? Yuri, Paul's been cleared by Noel. He's here to help us get more research funding. Relax, there's no call for a this here. Did you get this clown? Hey, look, I really don't need this. I didn't come down here to be insulted by a psychopath. You call me a psychopath? I'll kill your whole family if you call me that no, again. Stop it! Action ball. Stop it. Come on. Oh, the wind from the skull is knocking stop me over. Stop it! Get out of here! Well, they better have another one of these jackets at Chess King. I'm really sorry. Clearly, you're not a psychopath. My mistake. Get out before my dog tells me to shoot the president. Paul! Paul! Oh, this is like that time I hit the reporter with Piltdown Man's thigh bone. <laughs> the movie's biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> she can't help but be impressed by the way I handled that situation. The way I scurried out when he ordered me to. You know, if you look at it a certain way, I actually won that fight. Huh. Well, they cast me. I guess they want me to do something. Flagstaff. I can't believe I'm still in Flagstaff. Oh, weasels ripped my flesh again. Yeah. Word of advice? Never have sex with Flojo. Diaries all of a sudden. Whoa, rat was ran rascal. <laughs> Daylight on the inside, nighttime outdoors. And back to waning daylight outside. Okay. That table saw again. <laughs> He's doing I and Gur yoga. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, if I could just fart. Oh. You know, the antidote to being a werewolf just might be a modium AD. I don't want to be near. Throw up. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> so are we supposed to assume a month passes every few minutes here in Flagstaff? All aboard. <laughs> the danger of hair oil graphically portrayed. Ah! Don't oh, will he just transform already? Jeez. Photographed by Danny DeVito. Now he, you know, he does this all the time. It has nothing to do with being a werewolf. 
Director got to borrow his cousin's dolly for a week. A tree in spring. Hello, Paul? Uh, I'm not lycanthropizing. <laughs> Um, the dead sheep was here when I moved in. Mm -hmm. I'm fixing myself a drink. You want one? Uh, sure. I'll have whatever you're having. Thanks. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, toilet water okay? Ah, uh, hey, your girl group wig is on crooked. Thank you. I didn't think I would have hair from you again. I tried to stop you when you left the lab, but your taxi drove up before I could catch you. Well, you don't have to worry. I'll pay for any damages. Voice coach was David Duchovny. Oh, Paul, don't be like that. Why not? I screwed everything up, didn't I? Screwed? No, Paul, you didn't. What happened at the lab wasn't your fault. You wet your pants and ran, and that's fine. Come on, Natalie. It never would have happened if I hadn't been there. What happened was only your fault. I explained everything to Noel. He doesn't blame you. He knows how here he is. That doesn't repair the damage. I mean, you're fine with this dirt. It wasn't as bad as it looked. There was no irreparable damage. <laughs> the bones weren't bad. We can piece them back together. Believe me, I do this for a living. You console European losers? <laughs> I hope you're right. Of course I'm right. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. They'll get off your guilt trip. We still need your help. You might be just our last help. So what do you say? Someday I'm sure they'll explain what he's the last hope for. Yeah, I'm not to. That's great. Oh. <clears throat> Paul, what's wrong? Nothing, really. It's nothing. It's just a scratch from my fight with Yuri. Well, let me see. No, no, no. Come on. It's nothing. Take off your shirt. All right, but I'm telling you, it's nothing. Oh, it really is nothing. Quit your crying. It's not a scratch, it's a deep cut. Uh, speaking of deep cuts, does this scene need to be in the movie? All soft as a werewolf pelt. You know, she scratches his belly, his leg will shake. <laughs> Ziggy played guitar. <laughs> oh. Reggie Mantle, no. But Veronica. Well, that's okay. It happens to everyone. Well, it happens to you. A lot. What seems to be the problem, fella? <laughs> My zipper's stuck. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we start the festivities in the back seat? Got some WD-40 <laughs> back here. The rain, the rain <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I mean. You know, I don't know what the big deal is. We aren't even naked yet. Oh. I just want to know if you brought one. That's it. Uh, too late. Uh, forget it. Oh, no, no, nah, nah, you blew it. I didn't mean to you ruined the you. mood. And what a mood it was. Oh, Where's the keys? Where do you hide those keys? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can find them. <laughs> I know how he feels. I lost my keys once too. Yeah. Yep. Oh my God! It's my dad. Oh, dear. So whatever they did in the bed blew him out of his room and halfway across town. <laughs> it's any better. When confronted by a werewolf, this is important, immediately leave your car and run out in the open. Okay? He's a wereworm. He's coming at her at a frightening pace. Somebody's helping her scream. Yeah, <laughs> you hear that too? Sinead O'Connor flees Prince's house. <laughs> Wait, her dress is pre muddy. Suddenly she's a medieval wench. Mud impossible to get through mud. I was playing Miss Havisham in the school play when I was attacked by a werewolf. And one, and two, and step, change, and shuffle, and seven, and eight, and werewolf. You get a lot of dirt with werewolves. You get a lot of clean with time. Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Ha <laughs> ha
Butterfly kiss has gone horribly wrong. Butter die kisses. He's getting some healthy reverb off of his howling. Uh, and thanks, so I'll call you. Bye. Hey, honey, I finally let the zipper down. <laughs> the third straight week of the full moon. He's reading, so you think you're a werewolf. Yeah, by Tom and Virginia Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Grisham's prose is just beautiful. I'm overcome. my idea of a werewolf. I mean, he's somewhat hirsute, but... Well, you know, it turns out he's not a werewolf. He's just Greek. Ah, ah. I was framed, I tell you, framed! Oh, man, if only I had some pamperin. <sighs> well, that's a... Hey, Bill Walton. No, Tom Waits. No, the lead singer from the Spin Down. No. no, Zachary Taylor. That's it. That's it. Is there a duck in the room? <laughs> He's becoming aware of Daniel Stern. Ow, I bit my lip. Ow, Jesus. What'd you say? What? <laughs> He's growing guitar picks. All right. Oh, my scoliosis. Ow. Oh, there's a storm in the bathroom. Are you werewolfing up here? Because your damage deposit does not cover that. I know you're home. Where are you? You know, it's economical not to have a storyline, because then you can just film people saying things. <laughs> I got a neck like a Maasai warrior. Well, I better take my pants off and do some typing. I'm crying because I miss having no pants on. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! The toilet's backing up! Hey, I'm just on the throne. Come on in here and talk to me. Send that creature. Oh man, you only rent victims, let me tell you. Zero, I think you should put Taylor back in his cage. Uh, hey, it's Don Imus. No, not scary enough for you right now. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is good because it's been a couple of minutes since a woman was brutalized. Yeah. So, werewolves are basically Jackson Brown. Yep. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. I am the greatest. <laughs> you know, he'd get a lot more done if he'd stop reveling after each small victory. Luckily, her big hair cushioned the fall. Oh yeah, I pushed you down the stairs. I'm the man. <laughs> He's almost as hairy as Robin Williams. Okay. All right. Thank you. And now back to Kung Fu. De Niro, Snipes, the fan. Now come on! glow on planet Earth, all hell breaks loose. Statistics show that many wild things happen when jacket wearing lessons. Many scientists believe that moon madness is a myth. Something so strange on the phone. Shh, I'm watching a guy water his lawn. It's really cool. Indians have rituals where the moon's effect on a human look can like transform hell. him into a werewolf. What's wrong? Shh. Paul. Oh, sorry. I was becoming Judd Nelson there. <laughs> oh, oh, no. 
It's like a nightmare. I was in school, nude. It was a nightmare. Running in the streets, doing things. Oh no, not things. Can't figure it out. That'll be, I'm scared. Did I use my toner this morning? Maybe you were sleepwalking. My souffle! My brother wasn't on the news. What time is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for turning off the bad soundtrack. You know what I really want to do? His baby be friends with you. See this Indian in the hospital. I want to know what happened to him. Isaac Misrahi in the role of a lifetime. What do you know about this, huh? Come on, Natalie, what do you know? What are you holding back? I'm not holding back anything. Certainly not talent. <laughs> He's in the hospital because... Because what? Okay, I'll tell you. Because if I still saw the same Look, fine. I talked to Joe and Billy, his co-workers. Come on, come on, spit it out. They said they saw him turn into a beast. Turn into beats? That's horrible. And when he attacked beats. them, they had to shoot him. Beats. That's why he's in the hospital. Flagstaff, industry, family, foreign people talking in attics. Oh, I'm so sorry I got you into this mess. I'm very concerned about your well-being. This wallaby? I'm glad to hear that. My wallaby means a lot to me. Orange Jerry curls. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. I'll... Wait, honey, what do you think? Yellow I mohawk? I, I think I'm going to talk to you later. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Your dental x-rays are back. It's not good. Yuri, why are you staring at me like that? It's after Labor Day and you're wearing white. I'm uh, going out to get a license to carry a concealed werewolf skull. See ya. I don't know how to love him. <gasps> Grandma! Grandma! Hey. Uh, you're sitting in my Petri dish. Oh, honey, what's the matter? Talk to Nana. What is it? What's trouble you? Oh, it's nothing. Now, come on, what are you holding back? It's just that so many things have happened since we discovered those remains. Not things again. Wow. Tommy's in the hospital, and Paul's been acting very strange. He thinks he's turning into a werewolf now. Werewolf? <laughs> you believe that? I don't know what to believe anymore. I tried believing in ESL for a while. Jeez. You realize that if this is true, it could be the greatest find in the century. Better than the new, bigger Cheez-Its? Not to mention the millions of dollars that would be available to us for research. I'm not concerned with millions of dollars. I'm concerned with Tommy and Paul. And Cubby and Ronnie and Biff. What are you hiding from me, Noel? Tell me the truth. You can't handle the truth, dearie. In due time, you'll know everything. Well, maybe then it's too late. Mm -hmm. Wow, the future conditional pluperfect subjunctive. Stop and be talking and start with the talking. <laughs> the color of horny. Yep, bikers love harpsichord music. Play some well tempered clavier, man. <laughs> You're a hustler. Uh, the queue, the queue, sorry, you'll have to pay for the queue. <laughs> It was just a stroke of luck. Uh-huh. You're a hustler. No, I was in Hustler. Wreck him up. The Uzbekistani Tracy and Hepburn. Uh, next to him, I'm almost smart. Whoa, they suddenly turned the air conditioning on. <laughs> Early Mascarpone. 
wait, now he's got gray hair. Oh. Winner stays. Okay, stop. Everyone go up a shirt size. That's the American way. Although we haven't seen an American in this movie yet. It's all right, Paul. I can handle this. Mmm, <laughs> rats and... Great. Guess our hero will go back to his writing now. J.D. Salinger writes more than this guy. Yeah, Sheriff's really let herself go. And now they're playing the soundtrack from Ken Burns' Civil War. What is this? Fast mm -hmm. Eddie Felsen's sex change operation was a big success. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Is my beer freshness dated? Oh, no. I think it might be skunky. <laughs> I miss Europe. <laughs> oh, oh. Chubby Ramon. Who adjusted the flame so high on my Zippo lighter? He's dreaming of slimy cat puppets. <laughs> so they don't notice him like hands ripping away right next to him. <laughs> hey, Paul, you're really turning into a werewolf over there. Anyway, three ball in the corner pocket. Hey, she was solid. She was. Frederick Remington's Guernica. Not a good sign when the action in your movie is upstaged by a mural. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's the angel sitting bowl. Thanks for killing me and all my people. Enjoy our land. Hey, did I have too much mezcal, or does anyone else see those Indians in the sky over there? Michael. Hey, biker. Hey, Rasta. You lose, Yuri, as always. I'll catch you next time. On Pectoral Theater. There will be no next time, Yuri. Hi, girlfriend. Yeah, you're good. Let's see how good you really are. I'll rack them. People say rack to me a lot. Why? Ah, the movie that takes its time and hangs around in bars. There was another one. Man, the pool cue budget must be enormous. I like the five ball there and the 11 ball here. Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, werewolf. Yeah. Ow, whoa! Oh, hey, watch it! Ow! Ow! ow. ow. God, what, watch out! Man, you were right in my way. I think I cut myself. It's very simple, Mike. Just don't fall on me anymore. Well, you are so sharp and pointy. I think I'm going to need stitches. Well, pick up your feet next time, you oh. big... Hey. Hey, Mike, there's something about you. I don't know, but suddenly you are a very, very handsome man. Really? Yeah, I can't believe I never noticed how striking you are. I mean, you are a god. Well, thank you. I just... Ah! What? Ah, what? Mike, look at your hands. Feel your head. Hmm. Well... So I have claws and a net. What's the... Hey, wait a minute. Ah, when you stupidly fell on me, some of my essence must have mingled with your essence. Ugh, don't say essence. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? I am beginning to look and feel like you. And you know what? I'm perfectly, perfectly comfortable, comfortable with, with that. that. Oh, yes, that's, that's exactly, exactly what, what I think. think. Oh, he's a werecrow. A werecrow. Well, that's okay. Uh, oh, tell me how you feel. Well, I feel thin. Uh -huh. uh, I have an intense love for bacon. Oh, yeah. And a sense of moral superiority over everyone I meet. Yes, perfect. You're me. Oh, this is turning out great. Oh, man, I love us. <laughs> me too. Uh, will you excuse me? I'm going to go throw up all over myself. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so what else can I expect? Well, your voice is going to change inexplicably every seven years or so. Okay, good. You'll start ordering salad spinners by the truckload from QVC. Already have. Uh, great. Uh-oh. Oh, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> what else? Well, you'll have to hide your huge collection of tattoo magazines. Oh, good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is exactly what I wanted to see. So, any given Bennigan's bathroom on any Friday night. Uh, look familiar, Mike? Uh, Mike? Oh, never mind. Oh, 
Thank you. The scene wasn't repulsive enough. No, that's just a secret hair dyeing place. You're beautiful. Hey, thanks for stinking up the joint. Do you know how much stronger my sense of smell is as a wolf? Well, I oughta. Well, if I wasn't a werewolf, I'd... Uh, no, my were tummy. <laughs> Turning into a werewolf plus my irritable bowel syndrome's acting up too. Oh boy, harpsichord music today. <laughs> Still the best, yeah. Newsies. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But how's the pool game going? Gabby Hayes, werewolf. Oh, no, he's running through the streets, doing things. <laughs> oh, great! A random citizen that can kick a werewolf's ass, huh? <laughs> Directed by Jackie Chan. Hey man, what the hell are you doing? I am playing, all right. Basquiat is in danger. He's attacking the grip truck from Lighthouse Grip and Equipment, serving the film industry since 1965. Made it, Ma! Top of the farmer's bank! Now the streets have no name. Oh. Noel, this is not a figment of my imagination. But what happened to Tommy, I swear I saw it happen to Vic. The security guard, right before my eyes. Oh, the police have his body at the morning. <laughs> now, Paul has the same symptoms, maybe even worse. I know where Paul lives. And I suggest you get all the units ready Meet me at Paul's before we lose him like lost Tommy and Vic. We'll see. If Paul turns out to be a... An actor. In a glunchy, a werewolf, your reward will be immeasurable. Professor Noel, I can't wait to show you. Okay, where is he now? I'm sure he went back to his nest to hide. Now we must get to him before daybreak, before he returns to normal. All right, I'm on my way. I'm sorry, I had to take that call. So let's uh, continue to explore your feelings about your father. Have you noticed that my accent has grown as bad as yours? Yuri, where's Paul? You're asking me? This is not the time for games. What games? What happened to him? What him? Is he in danger? What danger? That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. Look, his quarter's up and he's holding up the table. Let's talk. I wonder what language they'll use. Austrian, Portuguese, Bulgarian, Catalan. Meanwhile, Slash is still trying in vain to sink a ball. They have the greatest pod tie here. We gotta try it. You want a drink? No, just say whatever you have to say. We don't have a birthday over here, do we? I'm sick of birthdays. Two nothings, the table seven. Okay. I know this is going to be very difficult for you to understand. Because of my accent. But forget about Paul. He's a full blooded werewolf. Now you know it, I know it, Noel knows it. And if you don't want what happened to Tommy to happen to Paul, buttons are neat. Help us get him back to the lab. Put him in a cage, hold a press conference, and let the world see what we've achieved. Now hold on. There's more. Noel and some of the guards are on the way to grab Paul and taken to the lab. I resent violence. I don't want anything to happen resent. to him. He's all we've got. And I'm sure you don't want anything to happen to him either. So it all comes to this? The thing that it comes to? You and Noel is in it for fame and fortune? Yes, we is. <laughs> but over my dead body. <laughs> you hear me? I won't stand for it. You as a jerk. Hey, Natalie. Hey, no! I is going to find Paul. There's a business up there simply called R. Oh, lovely. It's two for one Breenhammers tonight, Martha. Oh, 
Oh, he's dusting. Right? Yeah, his personal hygiene is horrible, but he's otherwise a neat freak. Oh, just made the call to prayer. What's going on? Oh my God! This is so Help great. Me. Holy Jesus, God, Father. Werewolf? No, I'm a squirrel monkey. Of course I'm a werewolf. Then. Leland Sklar, survivalist. Oh, uh, this is God. I've reviewed it with a committee, and no, it won't save you. Uh, would you mind eating this jar of meat tenderizer before I kill you? Whoever you are, don't hurt me, please! Don't, 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 don't. He's got movements like Anthony Kiedis. The death of Oliver Sacks. <laughs> Wait, you? not fair. He's still alive. Yeah. I'm Sam, the keeper. His powerful bodily funk finally comes in handy. <laughs> I'm the good guy. Right, folks? Oh, man. Running through the streets, doing things, really takes it out of me. Why? I'd hate to see his sink trap. <laughs> oh, why did I ever eat that extra gazelle? I've been a bad boy. I'm giving myself a timeout. Fellow freemen, brother militia men, come to my aid. Honey, I is being home. Has to rest up for her match with Minnesota Fats tomorrow. Oh, God of battles. Oh, Miss Natalie, I don't think you should go up there. Something horrible has happened. I passed my tapeworm. I was just praying for the police. I think we should call the cops. No, Sam, don't call the police. I'll take care of him. Don't worry about it. Is the gun loaded? This? Sure it's loaded. I want you to go to the window. And if anybody tries to break in, shoot him. You got it, Miss Natalie. Because the real danger is from the non-werewolves outside. Paul? Freddy Krueger, Hellraiser, Paul. <laughs> Paul, is you at this place? I know that fiend Rick Baker tackled him and did this to him. Starring Rasasa Annie. Oh my god. Don't look, I haven't been groomed. Still, she's more emotive than Gillian Anderson. Yep. Wow. Paul, you as a werewolf. <laughs> Let's see, that phone up there is stacked. Hey, Mike, would you introduce me to that phone? You cut that out. Hi there. Paul. Is that a one by six? Oh, it's her acting. Yeah. Paul, please don't hurt me. Think of my family in Latvia. I love you, no matter what. Well, can you help me get these bugles off my fingers? <laughs> Itchy, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your Aunt Noel want to take you to the lab and cage you. She learned English from the wild and crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put on a long, loose-fitting gown and roll around in the mud for me? I'm here to help. I don't know how, but I know I gotta get you out of here. This is very moving. You know what I want to move out of the theater immediately. Yes. They're gonna be here soon. Randy? Cinematography by Haskell Wexler. Cat. And Jimmy Carter comes in to negotiate an agreement. I can't believe people call me a psycho. I'm gonna take those people's heads and carve them into ashtrays. She's suddenly in Philip Marlowe's office? It's sort of bimbo noir here. Oh, swinging by to see Flounder and Pluto and Pinto. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Last guy she dated turned out to be the Loch Ness Monster. 
sorry I chewed your shoe. I'm sorry. Hmm. Sam got himself some seamless gutters. Nice. <laughs> Never throw his fetch ball against the picture window. Huh. <laughs> Um, excuse me, did anyone see a glass shard encrusted yet a glanchi go by? Oh, his apartment is right next to Monument Valley. His jacket makes him look like a wear waiter. Well, folks, should I follow him? What do you think? Hey. Crickets are trying to drown out the soundtrack. Go crickets! Well, this is where Yuri's Russo Mexican tracking skills will come in handy. Oh. <laughs> Fully a bear now. Disguise myself with my own arms. And a bat again. Wonder Woman. Oh, there's a graffiti-filled underpass in the deep woods. <laughs> Hang on, my contacts fell out. Hang on. He's just scratching himself with his own wristwatch. <laughs> kind of the Euro Chuck Weapon. Trying to get him one last hair coloring before he dies. Blood came out like a Ralph Steadman drawing. Comanche. What he got between Paul and his cub. Yeah, even in death, he's sucking his gut in. <laughs> Fortunately, the director wanted no reaction in this scene. Remember, Cindy, nothing gets in. No information ever reaches your brain. Good. And Congress enacted the Pop Rocks labeling law. <laughs> I have a feeling that every bit of her intelligence is being used to climb these stairs. Mm -hmm. Should I? Yes, I'll take the next step. Shoe cam. Actual shoes. Looks like she wears a size 38 or whatever the hell sizes they use over there. <laughs> Europe. Okay, she's a werewolf. I think we're all ahead of your movie. Sorry. She has Dilbert boss horns. Mini blinds are fun to watch. Look, he has a little bottle of Mrs. Butterworth on his night table. Ah, that was the sound of the director giving up and leaving. <laughs> Did this movie not pay its electrical bill? <sighs> okay, movie, she's a werewolf. We really gotta call time on this one. I'm sorry. Well, no, no, maybe she turned into Eddie Van Halen, see? Yeah, and she teased her hair, then got downright sadistic with it. Come on, dead people know what's going to happen here. Hey, if she's a wolf, she'll have three rows of breasts. <laughs> oh, oh, ew. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Yeah, it's kind of... She's meeting Maynard G. Krebs. Yeah. He's become a were-Amish guy. Gonna be a little spirit gummy when I first kiss ya. <sighs> Surprise ending written and conceived by a tube worm. I stand corrected. She's not a werewolf. She merely joined the cast of Cats. Mr. and Mrs. B.O. Plenty. How well the Indian boy loved all the animals in the West. We will, we will rock you. Toss! 
Well, they ran through the briars and they ran through the brambles and they ran through the places where a rabbit wouldn't go. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves, we heard it from the people of the town. Tusk! High on a hill lived a lonely goat herd, lady, yodel, lady, yodel, lady, hoo. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Tusk! Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. Toss! Admiral Halsey notified me. He had to have a bath so he couldn't get to sleep. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. In your Easter bonnet with all the frills upon it. One night in Bangkok makes a strong man crumble. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry when I take you out in a surrey. We were merely fresh men. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. Cause I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Toss! <laughs> Well, yeah. well, you look just like me now. I am. I'm just like you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. <laughs> well, why would you? You look great. <laughs> Here, turn around. Let me see all of you. <laughs> Heck, I'll be taking pointers from you pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, isn't it great being better than everybody else? It sure is. <laughs> oh, hi, Crow. Hi, Crow. Uh, oh, no, I'm a Mike. I'm just a Werecrow. Ah. You, you know, Crow here says pretty soon he's going to be taking pointers from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Ah. Look, I uh, found some essence of Mike I had stored. Just inject a little, and uh, you'll be right back to normal. Now, uh, okay, I'll uh, do it when I'm sick of being Crow. Uh, hey, uh, where'd you get it anyway? I'd rather not say. Ew. It's powerful, though. Ah. Spilled a little on me. Now I got blonde hair. Plus, I got that feeling like I'm uh, from Wisconsin. It's wow. really ah. weird. Yeah. I yeah. think I got to go lie down. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, well, uh, we better see what Pearl's doing. Ah. Ah. Uh, you got to hit it with your head. Oh, right. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Time to watch me now. Some said it couldn't be done, but drawing inspiration from today's movie, I am ready to do what the world has been putting off for some time. Injecting the essence of a wolf into a man. <laughs> Bring me the peasant. <laughs> <laughs> now, bring me the wolf. Okay, but he's pretty vicious. Watch out for those fangs. I don't think I can control him. <laughs> Well, you try getting a wolf after midnight. There aren't any 24-hour wolf o -max. Well, I got the peasant. Oh, like it's really hard to get a peasant around here. Geez, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting a peasant. I think I did pretty good. Well, the experiment's <laughs> shot because of Bobo. Shot. <laughs> Should we start a We Hate Bobo Club? Let's. <gasps> I'm president. <gasps> Jinx. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I could have gotten a lot of peasants. Anyway, he is a wolf, isn't he? Oh, are you gonna fight me? Oh, don't you fight me! Look out, he's gonna eat me! Wolf, he's gonna eat me! Oh, oh, he's eating me! Oh, I'm dying! Oh, oh, it's terrible! Oh, oh. This is absolutely fascinating.